Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today. So for today's project I'm going to make a stamp folio, a little folio to put in my stamps that I use for my journaling. Um, this isn't my design, this was uh, Wendy's Journal Adventures that I've seen this great tutorial on. I will link Wendy's channel in my description if you want to go and have a look. Um, I thought it was a really great piece of storage for stamps. So you're going to need eight pieces of card. Um, and this is just scrapbooking card that I've cut here and you want them to measure six inches by four inches so we're going to start off and uh, let me decide which way around I want these um, let's have a look I think I want them two in the middle and then that one on the end like so It'll make sense as I fold it and show you what I'm doing. So you want your four, first four pieces of card. That looks crooked on camera. I'm sure my craft mat's a bit skewy. Okay, and you're going to want three pieces of fabric that measure six inches just to use as your hinge, like so. We're going to hinge down there like that. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to put some glue on, just leave a little bit of a gap. I'm going to put some glue down both sides. I'm going to use my three and one to stick this fabric down. A little bit on here. Okay, let's just put our fabric down. Like I said, this is just to hinge them together. Um, I think I might just leave a little bit hanging. I can always cut it off. Okay, just like so. And then the same with this piece. I'm going to put another little bit of glue down here. Just making sure that I'm straight. Okay, another piece of fabric. Doesn't look straight, that's better. Okay, so we'll put this down here. Just like so. And then the final piece, again we'll put some, am I off camera there, let's move over a little bit, is that better? Okay, then we're going to put some glue down this piece, there we go. I have a tendency to wander off camera. Okay, and then we've got the last little piece of fabric and again I'm just going to stick that down there. Just going to give it a minute to grab just like so so as you can see that's going to be our hinge and it's going to fold up like that now because my paper is double sided you don't really need another four sheets of scrapbooking paper I could leave it like that but obviously I don't want to be able to see these seams so I've chosen four more pieces of scrapbooking paper that I'm going to sit on the top um, let me just see where we're going to put them. So we're going to put one there. So I'm just going to glue this down first. I'm going to stick with my three and one while I'm sticking it onto some fabric. Okay, so I'm going to stick this piece down first. I'm just going to line it up with the edge of my first piece, just like so, like that. And then my second piece, okay, I'll put it that way around because there's some script on there, let me see where I want to put this, so I'm just making sure I've lined up, there we go, and that's why it's important to leave a little bit of a gap so you've got that manoeuvrability there at the side so again um, perhaps I should have stuck changing my mind I'm going to stick that one there and then this one here will that fold if I stuck that right yeah just to split the papers up a little bit Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to stick this piece down here. Just like so, will that fold? Yes, just making sure that you can fold up your folio. That's come off there. Let's put some more glue down. It's my fault for taking it off. Okay, so we'll stick that piece down. And then finally, we'll stick this piece on the end, just like so. Yeah, I thought this was a great little piece of um, ephemera to start, start again, Alison. I thought this was a great storage idea for stamps. I've got tons and tons of stamps and they're just in a little wallet at the moment. So I thought it would be a really great idea to use them. Okay, so I'm just going to now trim off my fabric that's hanging. Let me just get my fabric scissors. Just like so. And then this piece, this side rather. Oops, cut the bottom of the Okay, so as you can see now, the folio will just fold up like that, just opens out and I'm going to use both sides, the right way, um, yeah I'm going to decorate both sides, well I'm not going to decorate, I'm going to put pockets on both sides so we can use both sides of the folio, the back and the front, just trimming off these little bits of material. Okay, so let's just get rid of these scraps. And then we'll move on to the next bit. Right, so now to make our little pocket so that we've got somewhere to store our stamps. Uh, which way do I want for the front and the back? I'm going to have that as my front and back. Okay, so I've used vellum, but I've had to use two different kinds of vellum because I've run out. One's a really sort of thin vellum and one's a bit thicker. So, but it doesn't matter, it's only to store the stamps in so what I've done is I've cut the pieces of vellum I've cut mine six inches by I think that was two inches and um, so I'm going to stick one all along the bottom here just like so so I'm going to just put some glue on uh, I'm going to use my this glue I think this one will stick the vellum better so I'm just going to put glue on three sides just around the edges just like so and then we're going to stick it down there just wait for the vellum to grab and then we've got our first little pocket and again same here so I'm just going to go all along and glue these pockets down just like so can you see what I'm doing there yep yeah. don't have to store stamps in it you can store whatever you want to in it your labels or bits smaller pieces of ephemera maybe whatever you want to but I've got a lot of stamps so I thought this would be a really great way to store them and you can actually see what you've got so there we go so there's my first pocket okay and then again I've cut some more pockets for here so I'm going to stick another four down there you can let's just get that other piece of vellum then they're the same yeah I run out of vellum so I'll have to I'll have to order some I've just managed to find some scraps in my stash so that's why they're two different kinds but I'm not worried about that that doesn't bother me in the slightest so make sure you leave enough space so you can get into your pocket and then we'll stick these down a bit too long I'm just going to put it down just then it doesn't stop it from closing just like so is that one okay I'll just trim that down a little bit as well before I glue it down okay so we're going to set that one there 
And then this one, do I need to trim that? No, that one's fine. Me and measuring don't go on along very well. I normally do things just by eye, if I'm honest with you. I'm not a measurer at all. So, okay. So you can see there now we've got eight little pockets in our folio. And then I've cut some thinner ones. I think these were, were they four by... Four by one inch, I think they were, or four by one and a half, but it doesn't really matter, however you want them. And obviously they're going to be near the top, so you can store littler stamps in there, um, rather than waste all that space at the top. That's why I've just cut the strips a bit thinner. Yeah, so... I'm going to start over here, just put it in the top there. Yeah, I can't wait to sort my stamps out and put them in here. It'll be a great way of storing them. Okay, and this one, I'm going to give the vellum time to dry before I put anything in it, I'll leave it a couple of hours to dry because it takes a bit to, for vellum the glue, this, this glue is quick drying actually but I don't want to force the pockets until they're properly dry before I put anything in them. Okay, and then another one. So that's that side. Now I don't think I've cut enough pockets here. Let me see how many I've cut. Have I? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I have. One, two, yeah, I have. Okay, so I'm going to turn over. Now that's going to be the front and that's going to be the back. So I'm just going to decorate these two middle pockets. So again, I'm just going to put my vellum down. Just across here. I mean, I could put a pocket on the back, I suppose. That's too, too big. Let me just wipe that glue off there. I don't want to put glue all over my good scissors. Okay. See what I mean about measuring? I've so-called measured these and they're too big. Okay, so I'll put that one there. Just make sure we can close it. Yep. Yeah. And then another one there. Just trim a little bit of that off. And I think what I'll do, and silly me, sticking it on the same one again. I think what I'll do is, when the glue's dried later on, I'm going to sew round, sew round everywhere with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine, just to finish it off. Just cut a little bit off there. Yeah, I think it'll look nice with some stitching. I mean, that's optional, isn't it? If you want to do that, if you've got a sewing machine, or it'd be fine just the way it is. Okay, so that's that one. So let's stick the middle pockets down now. Put glue all over my fingers and it'll be all over the vellum, not to worry. I think the children have been in and took off with my baby wipes. Okay, so let's put that one there. And then a smaller one at the top. And then these two. This one. And then finally one at the top. out the way we don't need those um, or should I put um, no I'm not I was going to put a pocket on the front but I don't think I will now I've stuck one on here um, yeah I could leave it on the back couldn't I I could have a po little pocket on the back I'll leave that one on there um, so as you can see now there's our folio it, it just folds up just like that and then opens the other way and there's all our pockets so 
what I'm going to do now is I've got a piece of sari silk for my closure now I don't know whether to glue that down or whether to just I think I'm just going to tie it round and I may sew it you know when I get my machine out I may do that so we want to embellish the front of our folio let me just find some stamps and I'll just show you I've got them in these at the moment but I've run out of um, run out of space with them so it'd be nice to let's do that side because it might be a bit drier yeah look I thought it's just a perfect way and you can put your little ones put your little ones in the top there it's a bit big that one yeah I thought can you see there just thought it was a great way to store your stamps so yeah um, and like I said it doesn't have to be stamps you can put whatever you want to put in there just put your tickets or like I said whatever you want to it doesn't have to be stamped so I'm just going to take them out so it's properly dry and then I'm going to sort I have got my color my stamps in colors in these little wallets but I've run out I've got some more that I need to sort out so I'll do that at a later date okay so there we go so that's how we're looking let's put that piece of string over there so which is going to be the front that's going to be the front of my folio I think or that way which way um, no we're going to have that as the front there so I just want to do some embellishing on the front I've got that little pocket but whether I'll use that or not I don't know I might just put um, a little label on the front there so I just want something to stick here but I love the paper the paper's really nice isn't it so I don't want to cover it all up really I'm going to put some lace on uh, which one do I want got a piece of this lace here I'm going to put that down the side, I think. Let's just cut that. And we'll just put some glue down here. I know I'm going to cover up a bit of my pocket, but I'm not bothered about that. Okay, so let's just stick that lace down there. Just like so. Just keep hold of it till it grabs. Yeah, I don't think I want to put too much on there. Where's my flowers? Um, I've got a tin of flowers somewhere. Oh, here they are. I've got them hiding under my ink pads. And I also want my ink as well. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. Before I stick anything else on the front, I'm just going to use my ink. I did mean to ink around all my papers before I glued them down. So what I'm going to do is just open it out and I'm just going to use my blending sponge I'm just going to ink around all the edges just to darken them up a little bit on this side do this side as well and then it all ties together and this way yeah little tip ink all your papers before you stick them all down it'd be much easier I did mean to do that but completely forgot so not to worry and I don't want it to be too dark so Right, so let's stick these down. Uh, I'll use this glue because I'm only sticking to card. Let's put it the right way. We'll stick that down there and then we'll stick this piece down. right my flowers these are vellum flowers let's have a look we've got a nice big one that can sit on the front we've got that one got some lovely flowers in here oh we've got that one you know that one looks better let's have a look what else we've got um want a nice big one we've got that one 
little pop of red that's quite nice isn't it uh, that's the same as that one um, very rarely use these and it's such a shame because they're gorgeous I keep forgetting about them got pink no I think I like that little pop of red on the front there so I think I'm going to go with that so let's just put these away just going to put some ink around the edge they are sticky these so but I think I'm going to glue it down I think it'll stay on longer if I glue it down just inking around the edge of my flower just like so we'll put some glue down okay let's stick our flower just there like so and then I think I want a butterfly for down here in this bottom corner let's just find my butterflies oops knock it everything everywhere butterflies um, I didn't know what I wanted to use so I've just got my basket at the side of me here with all my ephemera in here's my butterflies Oh, look, he only wants a little one. I think we'll have one down there. And one up there. Let's have a look which other ones we've got. Um, that one. In fact, we'll have to have either one or we'll have to have three. I think we'll have to have three. And I might put a little word down the bottom there. Let's just, which one do I want for that? I want that one. Okay, let's put them back. And I'm just going to grab my Tim Holtz words because I think I'm going to stick a little word on the bottom as well. Okay, so I'm just going to fussy cut around these little butterflies. two little ones at the top so let's just put some glue on in fact I'm just going to ink around the edges okay some glue down so I'm going to stick one there Sorry about that noise, there's a motorbike outside and I've got my window closed actually but can still hear it. Okay, so let's sit this little butterfly down there. Right, do I want to stick one of these little words on? Let's see what we've got. Um, actually, I don't think it is a motorbike, I think it's the gardener so I apologise if the camera's picking it up. Luckily we're coming to the end of the video now so... I apologise, let's have a look what we can stick on here, um, let's have a look, inspire, memories, peaceful, creative, 
but I'll just stick that down the bottom there just something to stick on just down the bottom there like so and there we go guys there's my little stamp folio so as I said it opens out like that we've got all our pockets there and then the same on that side just fold it back up and then there's the front I'll zoom in a little bit see better now so as always guys thank you so much for stopping by to watch i will leave all my links in the description i'll also leave a link to wendy's channel so if you want to go over and have a look i'm sure you all know wendy she's a magnificent crafter makes beautiful um items yeah lovely journal she's really really talented so i'll leave her link there as well please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel if you do don't forget to hit that little bell which will notify you when i've got any new uploads so until my next video guys Take care. Bye.